Let's ask our American Mamas a question. Dear Mamas, is global warming over now that billionaires are able to build rockets and go to space? Oh, well, let's ask our American Mamas. Mama, Mama. Mama told me not to come. She said, that ain't the way I find no. And joining us now are American Mamas, Terry Nettaville and Denise Arthur. As uh, yesterday, Jeff Bezos uh, flew his rocket. Uh, he went up aboard uh, the, the rocket with uh, three other people. Um, his brother, um, the uh, the 82-year-old woman who wanted to be an astronaut back in the Mercury program. I think it's great that she was able to go to space. And then the 18-year-old, I have mixed feelings about that, but whatever. Anyway, they all go to space. And, of course, Richard Branson, a couple weeks ago, he flew his uh, spaceship up into space. They all got to go there for at least, oh, gosh, three minutes of weightlessness. Woohoo! Um, oh, Bezos left that cowboy hat at the house. <laughs> Jesus, I what saw that. was that? You need to call George Strait. You need a little information on the hat. Yeah, just, I'm just, just saying, you're anybody's got that much money and rocks a cowboy hat that bad. <laughs> Come on now, where's your style? Just because your rock is taking off from West Texas Does, doesn't yeah. make you a Texan. Does not make you a Texan. <laughs> it, 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 I, I don't know. I'm just at a loss of words. I mean, aren't, I mean I'm so confused. Aren't we still, according to them, in a pandemic? Yes, exactly. So now, uh, yes. like, now's the time to take your your eleven your eleven minutes, three minutes, whatever it was, ride to space, millions and gazillions of dollars. What seventy five thousand gallons of fuel? Uh, is this the right. green guy? Is this, is, yes, does it this is. help global it warming? It, it just, and then he get, then after that he goes and gives a million dollars. No, a hundred. I mean, hundred. No, it was a million. Was it? Was one, it one million? I think it was one million. million. I think it was a hundred million. I think it was 100 million. a hundred million. I think it was a hundred. Whatever it was, it was too dollars. much to Van Jones. And yeah. the, now the Chef Andres, I understand he'll probably do something good with that money. But then here you are. They're so please, please, people, take off your beer goggles, please. You are talking about a man that, and you know what? I keep hearing people say, you know what? He can do what he wants to do with his money. And you're right. He can. And I understand. I think he gives like $200 million to charity every year. Okay. That's fine and good. But it's not like feeding the hungry kind right. of charities. Right. And But his wife does. His ex-wife. His ex-wife uses her, she uses her uh, money wisely. But the thing about it is, this is so double standard. It's so crazy. When you're sitting at home and you're you're on your, what, your 18th month of ramen noodles and your kids are hungry, are you all gathered around the TV to watch that? I mean, seriously. I didn't even know they did it until I read today that the, this is what took place. But I'm, I'm, flabbergasted and I know that people probably get tired of me saying this but I always compare imagine if Donald Trump or Donald Jr. or any of them anybody really any conservative use this kind of money this kind of fuel to go up for 10 minutes and come back down and of course thank him all the Amazon customers and workers you know for his ability that he to pays do that. $15 an hour and imagine the backlash from the left who are so keen on this global warming if that had been republicans they would be, talk about eating up the our planet with all of that fuel but they don't have see they and don't have a backlash committee never they don't have one it, there's not even an office for it well and we, far, we there's lots for the right well the double standard and the hypocrisy is almost too much i mean it's just so just it's so annoying but we, now let's go to this other point of giving van jones and chef whatever a hundred million dollars you gave Van Jones one hundred million dollars. Why? Because he said he wanted to use, he wanted to give his money to somebody who can unify. He said this award aims to honor those who have demonstrated courage and tried to be a unifier in a divisive world. We need unifiers and not vilifiers. We need people who argue hard and act hard for what they believe, <laughs> but they do that always with civility. You know, in two thousand and nine, okay. Van Jones called Republicans a holes and had to leave his job absolutely seriously and well, then he said george bush back in 2004 had knowledge and allowed 9-11 to take place is that unity and he's still still hammering the police well, i think about what trump did in the middle east you talk about unity and they he would never in a million or hundred million years he would never give an award like this to a republican no matter what they did to unify the world I don't understand this. And Van Jones says, you 
bet on me and I appreciate that. Well, I'm sure you do, man. But I want to know, what are you going to do with that? What are you going to... Yeah, but he, he basically the, said he can do whatever he wants to do with it. But why not find, why not yes. find a common American man or woman that is out there working Hitting the cement every day, yeah. gathering clothes, gathering yes. food, opening shelters, doing this, doing that for the good of the people. Why not give? Why not divide that up into a hundred and give a million dollars to all these places because that are shutting their doors? The voice, and it can control the narrative of Van Jones, who clearly works for him. So, if he, in order for Van Jones to receive that kind of money. He has to be on CNN promoting the narrative that Bezos. So he would never, ever give a unifier if that unifier did not believe in the Green New Deal. If that unifier wasn't um, in cohorts with Pelosi and Schumer and AOC. Never in a million. So this is such, it's one of those things. It's such a farce, all of it. I'm so turned off by the guy anyway. He just turns me off. He's so full of himself. And this well, he rides the fence. That's what I don't like about him. But I'll guarantee you, I think the chef will do. He'll do the honorable do thing. He's so. going to do something good with his butt. Who are we talking about? The chef, Chef Boy RD? Andres. <laughs> no. So, chef Andre? No. If you like to ask our, if you like to ask our American Mamas a question, go to our website, AmericanGroundRadio.com/slash/mamas, and click on the Ask the Mamas button. Terry Netterville, Denise Arthur, thank y'all. Thank you.